Welcome to this presentation about the language of computers. The first thing to know is that in the most fundamental sense, computers really only understand two things, on and off, which in computer language are represented by the numbers 1 and 0. This language, made up of just 1s and zeros, is called binary. To better understand binary, let's take a quick look at the number system we humans use most of the time, the decimal system. The decimal system is a base 10 number system. We use the decimal system because humans have 10 fingers, so it makes sense to us to count in groups of 10. With the decimal system, we count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Once we get to 9, we've run out of numbers, so we have to add another digit. So we make 1, 0 to make 10. Then we get 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, etc., all the way to 99, and then we have to add another digit to make 100. Binary works in a similar way, except since we only have two numbers, 0 and 1, we have to use a whole lot more of them. Here's how it works. We start with 0, then 1. Now we've run out of options, so we have to use another digit. We get 1, 0, 1, 1. Now we've run out of possibilities again, so we have to use another digit. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now we've run out of options again, so we have to add another digit. We get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. You get the idea. And if you don't, it probably doesn't matter. So why are we talking about this at all? Are you ever going to have to convert from binary to decimal or vice versa? Probably not. We're talking about this now so that when we turn to file sizes, everything makes a little bit more sense. Let's take a look at that now.